in this video the standby voltage standby section is dead transistor diodes component other components were bad they were making problem so we repaired that assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh welcome to hasib electronics friends in our uh, last video troubleshooting of this switch mode power supply in phase 1 we detected in this power supply in 5 volt sb standby there was transistor unserviceable we detected this transistor unserviceable and two diodes in the input section were short we removed the short circuit by replacing the diodes the di diodes were short and there was another diode which was short this diode was short so I replaced this diode this diode short and the other third diode it was also short and this transistor it was short base to emitter so this short circuit make a damage in the tracks suppose that is an uh, example if we have some special in some special case our a big area is damaged a big area of this size uh, this area is damaged but we will do or if we have some IC we cannot replace that IC what we will do in case we have these bad components if we have some IC some special case or maybe the transformer is bad maybe other components are bad we cannot restore it that means that will we can say it cannot be repaired no that is not a solution if our this section is bad we have another solution and we must to do what we, what you can do it is idea I am just sharing my experience this Converters are available very very cheaper rates maybe If you want to purchase Maybe you can find two dollars three dollars or even Because this time we have we are facing problem in 5 volt SB Standby voltage the standby voltage are missing so We have to do some solution What we can do take a 5 volt converter to ampere it's very cheaper not a big deal you can find it maximum two dollar two dollars three dollars or in local market you can find much cheaper these are very very cheap so we, we will connect 220 volt in the parallel to the input and we will replace these voltage of the input transformer so what we can do the first solution that's very easy remove this transformer it is a very easiest solution we will remove this transformer or you can remove the diodes so if the input section is bad we can remove the transformer we don't need to trans transformer we have to inject 5 volts in the place of standby voltage So it is the easy solution. The first solution I will remove the transformer 
and in second step first I will give a solution how we can power on this uh, remaining part of this power supply so I remove this transformer now what we do now there is a main point we have a main diode rectifier diode here Schottky diode and we have the second diode here these two diodes are connected to the output of this transformer the center pin is connected to ground center pin is connected to ground and this pin is connected to the big diode and uh, that's here uh, sorry the main diode main rectifier 5 volt standby diode it is here at this point so we remove the transformer then we are safe okay we will connect 5 volt I connected two lines this is output output of the converter so I will connect the black lead to the center tape of the transformer or we can connect it here at any place in the common when you connect any power supply I will connect it here now this 5 volt we have to connect this diode output side the positive voltage positive of this converter we will connect it to this diode this end this side so we will connect it here and we will connect the same voltage to this end transformer this end is connected to the main diode and we will connect this line secondary output second output of the transformer to this 5 volt because this power supply was dead because it was short so this is our connection connect 5 volt connect 5 volt to the SB the purple wire here and I connected the second line the same line I connected to the output of the transformer second output so one I connected in the output of the diode and second I, I separated the voltage through passing the second diode so now we will connect this converter input side to the input of the power supply and we will connect this end to the input it is the idea to solve any problem in any system you are working and you are stuck at any power supply first of all we will check the primary voltage now I will connect the input when you are working at a, as a bench test you must connect through series lamp you can check AC volt at the input terminal that is to 235 volt then check after bridge rectifier the output check here it is 334 volt DC now I will connect black lead at the common because we made common of this power supply here now check 5 volt at the purple wire check 5 volt at purple wire 1 2 3 4 it's 5 volt so our standby voltage this area is dead we removed the bad components and now we can turn on 
the power supply okay then check the 5 volt at green wire 1 2 3 4 it's 5.063 volt so now I will turn on the power supply and we will check if the pulse width modulator controller is working or no if PWM is working or no so we will connect ground oh great it have output this SMPS have output this ATX have output but the 30 12 volt section that is above it is not regulated 5 volt it is not stable so we have problem in feedback so we can troubleshoot the feedback circuit so first idea how we can troubleshoot how we can overcome an issue our first problem that was the standby voltage were missing so we solve the issue we replace this converter we have problem here in the PWM section because it have some sound PWM section it is making some errors why it is making some errors we can check first of all we have to check the SB voltage SB volt are ok our this converter is working good we have some issue in any section that is causing that is making problem using this idea we can troubleshoot we can use any mobile charger if you have a mobile charger you can adjust the voltage output voltage of a mobile charger up to 5 volt I hope so this video is good for you like subscribe and share and in our next video we will discuss if we cannot find a one component how we can repair this power supply using other components we have still issue in the feedback circuit we will locate it and we will recover that so until that take care assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh